welcome back once again in our previous tutorial we design our expense data now in this part we will add our data to our we will add our expense data to our firebase database so for doing this inside your our expense manager button save set on clear listener we need to generate a random id so each string id is equal to m expense database dot push dot get key and now each string m dat is going to be that format dot get that instance dot format is going to be new dat and now create a object of our model class so data data is equal to new data and in here we need to pass all this field so first we need to change our amount string to integer so how can we change it so we can call it in amount and integer dot parse int and add here tm amount and now we need to add our in amount our type tm type and tm not and id and last parameter is going to be our m date and now we need to add our expense database dot child uh, child is id and dot set fellow data so inside our m expense database we will add a child that will be a random id and inside the random id we will push our data so and add dialog dot dismiss so we added all this data in our model class and add hit this run button and here is our application now open this expense and add some amount we can call it 800 and type is going to be For example, we bought some food and we can call it I bought some food. I bought some food. And now we can save. So save and we can see and open our Firebase database and we can see our new database and that is expense database. And if we expand this data, we can see our user ID. And inside this user ID, we created a random key and inside this random key, we added the, all this data. So if you can notice, you can see our income and expense user id is same because we are now login in one id login in same id so now we can see our all data so that is the basic thing of insert data to firebase database maybe you already know that so we successfully added our expense data to our firebase database and we also add our income database and now I think we need to add a toast message here. We can call it toast dot make text get application context. We are working here in fragments, so we need to add get activity. And we can set a message. We can call it data added data added and toast dot length short dot show so we add our toast message so we added all this functionality i think all functionality done so i think uh, that's it for this part we can continue it from our next part so make sure that you are working step by step so that's it for this part thank you